how beautiful it is to see the markets behaving the same as I predict and precisely gold and silver as I predicted yesterday achieving the highs at 18, 90, 91. See, I told you several times that these levels are achievable and for silver 2260. It has dropped from these levels and now has created the candle which I drew yesterday. It is now trading below 1860 and the critical support at $22 level. So what to expect today? Is it going to continue with the drop or we can expect a bounce back? If yes, which position you should take in order to profit? We will see with the help of charts and indicators. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon which will keep you updated with the next analysis which is going to be released before the US session. Do watch that also. Let's start. First, we'll look into gold followed with silver. Do watch till the end. Do listen to it carefully. Do note down the levels. Trade as per the level. Now see this, these are the early charts after a sharp fall I told you it is trying to retrace a bit and possibly a drop will follow once it drops below the channel it may give you sharper red candles and precisely the same has happened and now after creating further red candles it is consolidated again and now trying to move downwards again. So what is next now? 1855 uh, rather I will say 1850 and then 1840 levels these two levels I will be watchful of 1840 is definitely a very very stronger support and it can probably achieve those levels if it continues to slide the same fashion which you had seen yesterday so till the time now look at this till the time Again, 1865 is something I will look forward to. Very good resistance there. 1860-65 zone is something which it has to break past by in order to reverse the trend. So, 1865 is the only level above which you can buy. But then expect 1870 as the first resistance and 1875 as the next resistance. See, gold is trading in a $5 block here. And you have to be careful at every $5 because it is giving it a good resistance. As it is trading below 1860, one can remain short below 1860. First target should be at 1855, that is the nearest support levels. And then we may see 1850, 1847 and 1840 levels. Probably it can drop till there. Now look at the directional movement is divergent and bearish, stochastic dropping. And it is already at bottom. The MACD is divergent and bearish. It is also at uh, lower levels here, but it has scope to further trade with bearishness rsi is also trading oversold on the hourly charts now look at the two hour chart similar observation on the two hour charts fall consolidation fall consolidation fall now see these two candles previous two candles is consolidated for a while and now this breakout so probably it can stretch it a bit and we can look forward to 1850 1840 levels today itself directional movement bearish stochastic is oversold here on the two hour charts and hence a little bounce back or retracement is possible the MACD is divergent and bearish rsi is looking down here and if you look at three hour chart now see on the three hour chart it is this candle has breached successfully and traded successfully below 1860 levels and now it can get it pulled down for the lows probably we can see 1855 and 1850 levels in this candle itself and below that towards the US session we may see it falling further till towards 1847, 1840 levels probably can happen. Directional movement is bearish, stock high stick is oversold. MACD divergent and bearish, it is crossed over again, it is trading with divergence, it is looking down, RSI is looking down too and if you look at the 4 arch now see on the 4 hour chart, this is the first red candle, it is still pulling it down, only by entry today is above 18.65, then 70.75 are the targets and if it closes above 70.75 level, certainly we can see bullishness next week, but yes, for this week, 70.75 are going to be the next resistance level, you can buy at 18.65 and stay long for these levels. At the same time, we may see a drop till the time it trades or stays below 1860 level. We can expect further red candles taking it till towards 1850-1840 levels. Directional movement on the 4-hour charts is bearish. Stochastic is oversold. See, that is one point because the stochastic is getting oversold. However, see, this can sustain it a bit. However, only one point which is a uh, worry point is the stochastic getting oversold means probably it a little retracement is possible here. Look at the direction, look at the MACD, this is crossing over for the cell, this is the first red candle and hence it can trade bearish for a little while. RSI looking down, also a bearish indication. Now look at the daily chart, now see the power of charts, I told you 18, 90, 91 levels are going to be a stronger resistance, higher highs getting created. Precisely from 1890.5 it has reversed and given the candle which I 
drew yesterday now see this is the first candle and hence there could be a follow up candle today which means that we can look forward to 1850 1840 7 1840 levels still 1840 levels we can probably expect a little drop here in gold and so one can remain short till the time it stays below 1860 one can remain short one can expect 1850 1840 but remember the stop losses are uh, going to be at 1865 only above 1865 you can expect it to rise for 1870 now see this on the daily charts one more observation i did tell you yesterday that these are the 2050 period moving zone and it probably it is can give it a little support now it is going to be the resistance level so 1870 levels are going to be a tougher resistance for it to break today only if it trades above 1870 further strength can be seen there directional movement bearish stochastic oversold on the daily charts the macd is divergent and bearish the rsi is also looking down here considering this till the time it stays below 1860 levels you can expect but see those who want to risk a little you can uh, sell at 1855 and then expect 1850 1840 levels and those who want to Uh, be a little more risky. It can sell at eighteen sixty itself, and then expect we can see it hitting eighteen fifty, eighteen forty levels today itself. On the upside, so now see the sharp drop here. Eighteen fifty five is now here, and see on the upside only buy entries above eighteen sixty five levels, above which you can stay long. Take your trades accordingly. Trade with a stop loss. Trade with a trailing stop loss. Now let's have a look at silver. similar observation for silver retracement sharp drop consolidation second red candle here possibly it can continue till towards 2170 2160 levels 2150 the next support zone the very strong support zone lies at 2150 Di directional movement is bearish here and if you look at the stock elastic has retraced a bit now looking down the macd divergent and bearish rsi looking down here and if you look at two hour likewise on the 2 hour chart see consolidation break consolidation break and hence this may continue for a little while now remember one fact till the time it trades below 22 dollars we should not consider it for a buy only about 22 possibility of a retracement exists where you can expect 22 20 is going to be the first and very strong resistance zone and about 22 20 only we can expect it to trade little bullish till the time it trades below 22 20 every rise is an opportunity to sell Directional movement is bearish here. A stock elastic oversold. The MACD divergent and bearish. You can see this. The RSI is also looking down here. And if you look at the three R, now look at three R charts. Consolidation drop, and now see this after limiting its movement for a little while in range. Now it is giving a breakout, and hence it can stretch it a bit. Twenty one fifty, twenty one, ah, twenty one seventy, twenty one fifty levels can be expected. Directional movement bearish, stock elastic oversold. The MACD is divergent and bearish. RSI is also looking down here. Likewise on the four hour chart, similar observation. I am not going to repeat it. Directional movement is also bearish here. Stock elastic is oversold. MACD is crossing over again for a sell. RSI is looking down and is trading at bottom. And if you look at the Daily charts. Now look at the daily charts here. See previous three candles. See I drew it yesterday. Higher highs, lower lows. The pivot here at twenty two, uh, forty levels. You can now see twenty one eighty. The first support level. Once it trades below twenty one eighty, certainly we can expect twenty one seventy, twenty one fifty levels today itself. And only buy position is above twenty two dollar levels, so above which you can expect it to retrace a little. I I do expect that it can give you. Second red candle, and this may take it further down till towards twenty one fifty, twenty one forty levels. Directional movement divergent and bearish. Stock elastic oversold. The MACD divergent and bearish. RSI looking at bottom. Considering this, I will recommend you to sell at twenty one eighty and buy at twenty two dollar. In fact, you can stay long till the time it trades below twenty two dollars. We can stay short in silver. We can expect it to drop for twenty one seventy and twenty one fifty. In fact, twenty one forty levels. So till the time it stays below twenty two dollar levels, we can stay short in silver and only buy entry is above twenty two dollar levels, where you can expect twenty two twenty. Once it reaches twenty two twenty, then only we can consider it for a reversal. Else it is going to be a bearish day. We can expect a good sharp drop. Take your trades accordingly. Trade with a stop loss. Trade with a trailing stop loss. 
एंड यस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न दिस आर्ट ऑफ ट्रेडिंग प्रॉफिटेबली यू शुड जॉइन माई मेंटरशिप बैच एंड माई सिग्नल चैनल रीच आउट टू मी फॉर मोर डिटेल्स माई टेलीग्राम एंड ई मेल आई डीज आई मैंशन इन द चैनल एंड वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑल्सो डो नॉट फॉर्गेट टू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट डो नॉट फॉर्गेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन विच विल कीप यू अपडेटेड विद द डेली एनालिसिस एंड द वीकली एनालिसिस एज वेल थैंक यू वेरी मच एव ए ग्रेट प्रॉफिटेबल ट्रेडिंग डे है थैंक यू